Hello, I'm Kelly Kuntz, the CEO of Submeter Solutions, and today we want to talk about wireless meter reading systems. Um, that actually has become one of the most important components of any good metering system. And so we wanted to um, just share some of the specifics about how meter the wireless systems work, how they integrate with meters, and what you can expect. So I've got some samples today and we'll just kind of walk through this. Um, I guess the first thing to mention about these wireless meter reading systems is that uh, this is not um, new technology. It's been around 30 years in this uh, industry. It's very mature. It's extremely reliable. So a lot of times when you hear wireless, you go, we don't want anything to do with that. But no, this is really quite sound and very reliable. And uh, what I've got in my hand here is a typical water meter that we use in submetering. This one is designed for like an apartment building. And you'll notice here that it's just a standard water meter with the register, but it has this um, electronic output um, pulse wire in this case that's coming out of the meter. And so um, with all the meters that we sell at Submeter Solutions, whether it's water, gas, or electric, it's going to have that electronic output. So with a wireless meter reading system, what we will do is connect with that wire to the transceiver, which is the first component in a wireless meter reading system. So let me tell you a little more about this transceiver. Um, it is battery powered. It's got a lithium battery that's got a seven to 10 year life on it. So it's not something that's gonna die and or need to be replaced anytime soon. Um, and the, the transceiver talks both directions. It, it is um, a low power wireless system um, according to the FCC. So it, it, it meets all of the standards um, that the government puts out for these types of systems. And a lot of times we get asked, well, is it Wi-Fi? Is it Zigbee? No, it's none of that. It's a proprietary 900 megahertz wireless signal. Why 900 megahertz? Well, it actually is a great um, frequency to use because it's got a good range, but more than that, it penetrates walls and other objects uh, quite um, quite successfully. So it's a really good frequency to use. It's all proprietary. It's not gonna interfere with any other wireless systems that you have throughout the building or even the neighborhood. Um, the transceiver then uh, is attached to every single meter. And think about that. That means that uh, that water meter or electric or gas meter can be installed anywhere in the property. That could be under in the basement. It could be next to the hot water heater where the connections are the most convenient. No one ever has to get eyeballs on the meter itself. You can um, bury this in the ceiling. Um, you only need to be able to access it um, if it needs to be serviced or the battery needs to be changed in a few years. So that signal is going to send its, uh, send its signal back. The transceiver is gonna send a signal back to the um, system gateway and this is going to be installed one place on the property and this gateway is going to require um, just a standard wall outlet to power it and then it's also going to need to be in, uh, connected to the internet and that can be connected via the uh, an ethernet port it can be connected via the wi-fi and even can be connected in this case on the next century system using their integrated cellular um, option. So there's an extra monthly fee for that, but it's super convenient. It can be turned on and off as necessary. So that gateway uh, collects the data from all of these transceivers throughout the building. It um, stores and then pushes that data up to a cloud server. Um, now, if the building is big enough that, uh, it's, that those signals from each transceiver are too far away to get to the gateway, then we can also install additional system repeaters. These repeaters are also line powered with a plug-in outlet, um, and they can go anywhere, and they will boost the signal from the transceiver to the gateway. And we like to think that uh, um, if you have a building that's got roughly 60 plus um, meter points, you're probably going to start needing to see a, a repeater. Maybe it's more than three 
levels high or there's multiple buildings. And the point there is contact Submeter Solutions and give us some information about your, your property's layout. And we're gonna give you a really good accurate assessment on if you need repeaters and how many and where they should go. So those are some of the basics about the components. This particular um, device is the outdoor version of Next Century's system. So this is um, IP68 rated waterproof that can go outdoors um, and it also has a replaceable battery. A uh, little more about the system itself, when that data gets up to the cloud, that means it's accessible by us, by you, the client. That means that um, we can see the system health online with web-based software. We can read the meter reads, of course, We can, that stores that data so we can see what the reading was three weeks ago or three months ago, or if it's been online long enough, three years ago. Um, lots of data there. The system alerts tell us uh, very practical things like suspected leakage. If you have a toilet flapper that's running, a low battery alert, low usage, there's a lot of other uh, really, really helpful alerts that the system offers as well. So that's a little bit about wireless systems for meters. We um, have literally installed since 2008 thousands of these. And so we understand them very well. We're highlighting Next Century today, but we've got other products. We are experts at looking at your um, property unique situation, and we're gonna build out and um, suggest for you the exact right equipment that's gonna work the best for you. So give us a call, contact us, let some of our sales team put together a proposal that fits your property exactly. Thank you.